Coming up next, it's a UFC welterweight division matchup. No denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters with similar height and some differences in reach. All right, to get us started now, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! It's for the first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Silky. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? ready? All right, crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of this. All right, here we go, early round one. We talk about wrestling being a great equalizer in MMA, but length and reach is another one. He's got a great jab. We'll see if he can employ it tonight. You have got to be born with it, right? You don't get taller. When you're a tall guy, you have to understand, make your skill set match your physical abilities. And this guy has done this tremendously. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Looking to land the right just out of range. Flush right hand is true. 
Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Try to establish that jab. He's driving the back of the head, pulling forward on the head, and then land those beautiful punches. Really has got his opponent on notice here. Lee gets touched by that kick right to the body there. Nicely done by the opponent. Clean left punch followed by the right. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Big knee lands right through the opponent's midsection. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Oh, nice jab. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. He is all about that left kick to the body. Oh, huge kick to that lead leg. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. And he landed the right hand there. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Trying to establish that jab once again. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Lee gets touched by that kick there. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking you these, man. You gotta check these kicks, or you're gonna be limping around the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Oh, misses with the jab. Oh, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Nice punch lands over the top. He's doing a nice job putting it all together. Just misses with the straight left hand. You gotta get that takedown. Hook is there again. Oh, he lands a huge kick here. Ah, oh, that jab hurt him. Five minutes in the books. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. He's trying to double up on that jab. Goes back to that left kick once again. his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Knee to the body. Let's get going now. Oh, nice high kick. Let's get behind that jab now. 
Just misses there with the left. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch in the clinch. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Hey, keep going. Hey, take that shot. Take that shot. Oh, collar tie. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. But how about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well. If he oh. didn't like that left hand, he's got him right here. Oh, he might be out. So holding on to him here, not doing a ton, perhaps just looking to recover. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Way to hide that leg kick. Good defense to block the strike coming back. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. That's as good a punch as he's thrown on. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the one that lands perfect. And that one landed perfectly. Try to oh, just digs into the punch. He has shot with every part of himself, and now he's got his opponent hurt. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get now him. goes in and secures the takedown. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job. Great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Close guard here. He's very comfortable here working off of his back, DC. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Lee. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensive. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. He's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Yeah, he's in half guard here. Oh, nicely done there as he has gets back to his feet. shot there. He's Unbelievable, that shot landed perfectly, and now he's got his opponent hurt. Ten seconds. Oh! Liver kick! Do you believe it? He got him! Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught. He wanted to make sure he kept the judges out of the equation. Mission accomplished on that front as he gets the TKO victory here tonight. Not every day you see a fight end do a body kick like that. He used a lot of body work to slow down his opponent. Once his opponent slowed down, he was able to really impose his will on him and get the finish in such a high profile fight. So a massive TKO win for him here tonight. He put it all together, near perfect execution, and he gets one of the bigger wins of his UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is going to stop this contest at four minutes, 54 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO.
Roosh. The Dragon. There he is, the man of the hour. And you gotta think this dude's gonna get a serious Instagram push tonight after the win by TK. Oh, he's gonna get a massive push because he hurt his opponent and he pressed his foot down in the gas until he got that finish. That was amazing. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the victory by TKO. Huge result inside the Octagon tonight. So a big win for him here tonight and a big statement made with that TKO.